Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is Liz here. I feel like I start off a lot of vlogs like this with my hair and a cap. So yesterday I went to Target and I picked up some stuff that I want to share with you guys that I will be using today. You might be surprised, so let's see. <laughs> First and foremost, actually I got this pre-poo. So I got the Main's Choice Heavenly Halo pre-poo. So if you guys remember from my Marshalls vlog, I got their 24 karat gold twisting gel. I did use it. I used it on my hair previous to this deep conditioning. I tried to do like a twist out. I'm still not sure if I'm going to post a video because I'm not happy at all with the results. So maybe I might post like as a fail video but it's definitely not at twist outs just aren't for me but anyways but I like the actual product itself like the gel it seemed like I could use it for a wash and go in itself today I want to do Mia's hair I saw this on Raven Elise's channel if you guys do not follow Raven you need to follow Raven so I got the Carol's Daughters um, this is their new line wash day delight I wanted to try the same one she had the aloe one but they didn't have the they didn't have the shampoo for the aloe one so I just went ahead and bought a match and set to the shampoo and conditioner. Very excited to try this so I'm going to try and follow the routine that she used on her daughter's hair exactly and if you guys don't follow Raven I'm going to leave her channel down. I'm going to leave the actual video I'm going to follow down below as well. You guys should follow Raven she makes great content. And then this will give you a little peek of what I was talking about. You might be surprised at what I bought. So I also got the thermal shield from Cantu, which is just a heat protectant. Shield hair from heat up to 425 degrees. So along with that, I got the Infinity Pro. They call it the Knot Doctor. It says flexitile bristles for painless detangling. So it's kind of like one of those blow dryers um, that's a brush, but this is specifically meant for knots. And my kids, if you guys know kids and knots, it's inevitable. They play around in everything, but they hate getting their knots combed out. So, I'm going to try this on her hair. But yeah, so I'm excited to try those today. And then I also got new monitors. Two new monitors, a whole docking station. Like, I have a whole new setup for work. But I have to kind of set that up as well sometime. So, then do my hair too. So, that's pretty much the top of the list for this weekend. It's Saturday. It's about 10, 10.30 a.m. right now. I've already been up. I'm gonna make cinnamon rolls and some tea. And yeah. My job ordered me these monitors, so now I'm taxed with the job of actually setting them up. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And I really kind of struggled with all the wires, but for the most part, I think I got it down. I know guys, I know, please don't judge me. My desk area is a hot mess. Just looking at all my post-it notes is giving me anxiety right now. Like I have so many things on my to-do list, so please don't judge me. We're gonna get this desk area together, have a nice organized space to do all my work.
and I'm just shooting some content today for the most part and when I say shooting content I don't mean this vlog because the vlog is just a vlog but when I say shooting content like I'm making TikToks or Instagram and stuff like that that I could post throughout the week and honestly it's funny because I find out like I can make content today and I really don't even post it for like two or three weeks and like I need to get on top of it like I'm so good with making content like I can record and all of that but like when it comes to editing and posting I drag my feet I'm trying but I got this whole setup now I have my monitor like I said so I have my monitor so at least my sit down videos I can like see and actually yesterday I recorded me as a wash day so I can't wait to you know edit that and see how the quality in that goes because I had the monitor so I'm able to like do videos in the bathroom now as well because that's one thing I wanted but I do still want a new camera that has like the vlogging cameras when I'm out out and about like going out to dinner and stuff and I can actually just have my camera so I'm really working on it I really just want to make my content better for you guys so anyway so today I've been filming a hair video I'm actually doing it based off of a hairstyle I saw on Yara Yara Shahidi on Grownish and I loved it I was watching this episode and I was like I want that hairstyle so I'm doing that hairstyle today I'm making content okay I'm just gonna take some pictures maybe some outfits some reels some TikToks like just Having fun today. He was here yesterday, my hair, and so we just have Savannah's hair left to do. It's been a vacation this past week, so she goes back to school tomorrow, so we have to make sure her hair is on point. And picture day is later this week, so I really want to make sure her hair is versatile where I could fix it on the morning picture day so I don't want to put any braids or anything in her hair where it could get frizzy then I have to like redo the whole style so I think I'm just gonna use the heat brush on her as well yeah it's like her first well her only picture day she gets this year you know it's so it's exciting um, I did my hair so I'm gonna do the hairstyle by Yara but right now so I just have to put in my ponytail I don't know if that will even be up by this vlog I have so many videos like I was just saying I have like five videos always that I need to edit like I'm getting so behind with editing but I love recording I love doing it all but I just need more hours in the day anyways so I'm gonna do my eyebrows oh that was a lot of talking so I'm gonna do my eyebrows and yeah it's so weird it's Sunday I was just watching I feel like I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately which is not bad but um I was watching YouTube and I was watching Raven Elise like I mentioned her yesterday love Raven um I was watching her vlog I think um and she was talking about how she hates driving behind trucks that are carrying like wood like so she hates driving behind trucks that are carrying like either wood or like metal pipes and like you know those big trucks that like have a strap and then they have like a bunch of logs or pipes or something and she was saying that and I was like oh my gosh like I thought I was the only one like those things scare me I feel like they're gonna fall off and they're gonna attack me like but I know for me it's because I watched Final Destination as a kid and in Final Destination I, I don't know if it's I don't know which number it is but maybe I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen but one of the Final Destination it was one that came out when I was a kid I want to say it's Final Destination 2 honestly it might have been the second one but I watched it in theaters my sister brought me with her I watched it in theaters and I've been scarred for life and I know like the opening scene it was like them getting in the car those was taking this trip and she I think it was a she she had the premonition that the stuff was gonna fall off the truck and it was gonna go right through the windshield and like into them so she like pulled over whatever she made this whole thing but like basically she saved their lives but that's how they were supposed to go and ever since then that scene of the logs and the pipes, the logs getting off the truck, going through their windshield, getting the car and just going through their forehead, it stuck to me. Like, it stuck to me and I'm, I have the same fear. And it's, I don't know why I thought I'd share that. I'm not driving, but that's not, like, I'm glad I'm not really driving. Like, I drive now because I want to and I don't have to, like, be on the highway every day anymore. So it's really not an issue. Anyways, yeah, I'll just let you guys watch me do my brows. And yeah, I'm gonna probably just go back to watching some YouTube video, shoot my content. I wanna try, I don't know, I have so many things I wanna organize always. Yeah, so I wanna try and get some stuff organized, see what I can vlog today.
I'm not sure if you can really see me. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. But anyway, so now it's Sunday evening. It's about 8 p.m. or so. So I did my hair and now I have it up on it. But I don't know, should I insert a video or pictures or whatever? But I did this ponytail today. That ponytail, it gave me life. Anyway, so now it's Sunday. I spent the whole day creating content. Like I I batch creator content today so that I could post throughout the week and yeah I've just been hanging out now I've been hanging out with Mia Mia made a cute little fun little video she's right here right now so I'm looking over there but Mia's just watching me record so anyway so now it's time it's Sunday night we're back to school tomorrow back to work back to everything so we're just gonna clean up now it's the end of the night so I'm just gonna spend the night cleaning up I didn't do much this weekend as you can see I have a lot more planned that I didn't get to do um yeah so right now I'm just gonna clean up I'm gonna finish doing the dishes Mia wants to join, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish doing the dishes and just clean up and get prepared for Monday. Yes. And I need to do Savannah's hair, not Mia, but Savannah. Mia, I brushed her hair and she just, these edges don't stay. I'm gonna um, help you do the dishes. Good. So Mia's gonna help me do the dishes it's and then I'm going to eat wait, chicken wings. Are you gonna wait. eat chicken wings with me? Yeah, I am. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I don't want chicken wings, but I, I was gonna say, why I'm gonna do the dishes with you every day is because I it's fun. Good. You helping me with my chores is fun for you? Yeah. Our chores, because yeah. technically these are your chores. You just gotta grow up a little bit more and you will do the dishes all by yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Right. When you don't need a step stool anymore to be this tall, because you're on a step stool right now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, soon enough. These would be your chores and not mine. And and guess what? What? When I'm a, when I when I'm a teen, I'll do all your chores. No, all your chores. Cause when you're a teen, they'll be your chores, not mine. Wait. Your chores. Uh -huh. Alright, alright. So we gotta get back to work. Yeah. So bye. -bye. Today for dinner I'm having chicken wings. I didn't do anything special. I just put my regular seasonings in just all the dry mixes I usually use. I mix it up in this bowl and then I just fried it and it was delicious just like that.
the intro. What intro? Uh, intro of a video. I already intro it. Wait, so did you put another intro in? No, I already made an intro. By yourself? Mommy, your hand smells so good. Your hand smells so good. Can you put some of that lotion on me? Or is it only for grown ups? I will give you some after we try this, okay? You try what? The gummies, you don't want to Oh yeah, they, I bet they're going to taste so good. <laughs> oh man, what's today? Today's Tuesday. I can open it. Alright, yeah, you take them, you open it. Let me finish my lotion. Mm -hmm. And the gummies. The gummies smell delicious. Where did we get these? Oh, we got these at Target. So they're Albanese World's Best Ultimate oh, yeah. Flavor Gummies. Let's try them. Gluten-free, flat, gluten-free, fat-free, low sodium. Oh, Ooh, one's mango, raspberry, Asian pear, black currant, blood orange, crimson cranberry, Fuji apple, blood. and clean pineapple. Interesting flavors. Blood, blood orange. I know, right? I don't know which one is it. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take the whole plate of it. This one tastes like a mango. Nine pieces of one serving. You got the mango one? Uh huh. I wanna try mango. I don't know what the first one. I think I have the Asian pear for the first one. Mm-hmm. I think you have I wish they like color coded it. Colors from real fruits and vegetables. Wait. Maybe the green one is a green apple, is it? It says it's an Asian pear. You gotta, you gotta, don't lean, you gotta fall. I'm gonna try. Is, is the red one. What is the red one? What flavor is this? Oh, that one looks nice. Oh, yeah, it does. It kind of looks. I'm gonna try that same one. It kind of looks clear a little. Mm, I do not like that. Three. Red one. Three. It tastes like Robitussin. See you one. Mmm. I'm guessing this is a blood pair or something. You know, this one's probably. I don't know what black currant is. Maybe, I don't know what these flavors are. Maybe we're having black currant. Right? Mm. But they're good. Mm. But I don't know about the world's best gummies. Oh, I'm gonna try the one you don't like. It might taste delicious for me. <laughs> well, I might not like it. Is that what it wasn't you? this one, but you could try that one. It was not. It looks gross, but it's a little bit hard. You like but it? I like it. Alright, do you think we have, oh, I think I have the piece, the one I didn't like. I think it was this one. Did it look and then that's probably the last one you're gonna have. Did it look reddish? Yeah, it was the red one. You mean it was the dark red one? Hmm? You mean it was the dark red one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it? What do you do? It tastes like cough medicine. <laughs> yeah! Alright, that's it. End off with the apple one. Do you need pear one? Yeah, Asian mm. pear. Do we have the whole bag? Mm -hmm. Wait, let me see. No. We have more than a few pieces each. It's a lot of sugar. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come back on and kind of end off this vlog. It's been a hectic week at work. I've Pretty much been working i'm trying to like i said just vlog on the weekends so it is a day um so on thursday i showed you guys which was today yeah <laughs> earlier today um this morning i went and got some starbucks just like one treat of the day one treat of the week not even the day i don't get breakfast every day i usually make my own breakfast but so i figured i'd treat myself and i would get some starbucks and i would get my nails done and boy what like why this is why i never go to salons like you guys can see me on my channel like always doing stuff i do my nails i do my hair it's not even that like 
I just, I hate it. I hate going to the salon. It's such a waste of your time. And then half the time it's a waste of your money. And then another half of the time they're so rude. And it's just, it is what it is. But like I figured, okay, whatever. I have some time to spare. Let me do my nails. I went in there and I told them that, I well, not told them, I showed them exactly what I wanted. I literally showed them a picture while they were doing my pedicure before they started on my nails. And I was, so I showed them this picture and I was like, this is what I want. Can you guys do this? And the lady was like, yeah. And then she even tried to ask me if I wanted like designs on my toes and try to upgrade my pedicure to like other packages that were like literally like 50 more dollars. And I was like, no, thank you. I don't have time for that. Like I do my toes and my nails. I already know what I want. It's going to take a good amount of time to begin with so I didn't do the design and everything I declined everything she said she could do them they did my toes first we sit down and I wanted to do dip powder with tips which is not something I've ever done before but I know that's what I wanted I've done dip powder but I've never done dip powder with the tips so I you know she was like oh pick your color I was like I showed you the design like I want it's I want this design on every nail like I don't want a color and she's like yeah 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 well which pink do you want and I'm like well, which pink do you think is going to work best? And she's just like, oh, well, you should pick. So then I pick a pink. I look through her whole thing while she's doing my hand. She hands me the, the color wheel thing. I look through the whole thing. I'm like, okay, well, I want this one. And then she tells me, oh, well, um, that one's not really going to come up. It's not really going to show. Pick another one. So I'm like, okay, now I'm flipping, flipping through. Then like five minutes, like, I don't know what to pick. I'm asking her. She's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Pick one, pick one. And I'm like, okay, fine. This one, will this one be good? She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that one, that one's a good pink. That one's good. And I'm like, okay. So she does everything else. Then it comes time to add the color of the dip powder. And so she brings out the, the color that we both just picked. And then she tells me, oh, it has glitter in it. Is that okay? I was like, I guess. I, d I don't know. Is it okay? And then I was just like, I, I don't know, like, if it's okay, like, I just need that design, like, I need my nails to come out the way I have it. And then she's like, yeah, 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 it'll be fine. She does the whole thing, and then comes to find out she's not the one doing the design. So after all of that, now my nails has the acrylic tip on it, it has the dip powder, it has everything, it has this pink dip powder that has glitter in it, and then they send me to another lady that she's going to do the design, and then all of a sudden there's like five people standing over her all trying to watch her do the design and she looks at me she's like um I don't really do this and I'm like what do you mean she's like well first of all your nail color is too dark this pink is just not gonna work and I'm like well this lady told me to pick it like that's not fair and so then anyways all of that to say she she was like okay I'll try it and I'm like okay try it she tried it it looked hideous 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 I don't even know what she did and then and then I was like okay like that no like I don't want this no <laughs> and so she was like okay well this is our website and you know we have these designs if you want to pick from I'm like I asked you guys that when I came in I asked if there was something I could browse for designs because I know I want to design and the lady was like no 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 there's nothing and I was like okay so I could just look online and that lady has said yeah just look online and find the one thing you like <sighs> so then now after all of that so then this lady's asked me like well who who told you to put this pink and who did that and who did this and I'm telling her everything as it happened like I've been honest and open from the start like this is not fair this this is a very expensive service I'm paying for and you guys have not treated me correctly and then she, so she's just like oh well well I don't do that and we don't do that here so we don't do that design I don't even know like what kind of nail that one was on so maybe you can't go on the dip powder nail so I'm making all these excuses and I'm just like looking at her I'm like okay just give me the list of the stuff that you guys can do and let me pick one because I'm not happy right now and I'm not satisfied and I need to get out of here because now it's been four hours and I have stuff to do anyways all that to say let me show you guys Not even that they're bad or hideous or horrendous. It's just like it's not what I went in there for. It's not what I was willing to pay that much amount of money for. And I feel like they really took it for granted and they knew at the end of the day they did the nails. I was going to have to pay them. So they did whatever they wanted until they got to the end. And they said they couldn't do what I asked for, literally. And that was the most frustrating thing ever. But anyways, I'm never going back to that nail salon. Might never even go back to any nail salon because I constantly keep having these kinds of experiences. Like, these people will tell you whatever they want to tell you in order for you to get the service done and pay them. And that's not fair. Like, I'm going to pay you. Why can't you just be open and honest? Like, if they would have told me from the beginning that they couldn't do that and then just had me look through their catalog of stuff and pick a design, I would have walked away such a happy customer because, like, it would have been open communication 
communication and I wouldn't know what to expect from them and they would have knew like what I wanted and it would have been cohesive and I would have paid and I would have walked away so happy but instead they lied and now I'm not happy and now they've lost the customer they could have gained so anyways guys these are my nails but all right thank you guys so much for watching my channel thank you guys so much for watching this vlog make sure you hit the subscribe button down below make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and as always i will see you in my next vlog bye